Hey, this is Brett, and I'm working with the Food and Drink Menu Pro uh, plugin today. Uh, we're setting up menu items, and this is the initial video, kind of an overview of the system. We're going to be setting up a quick, uh, simple little dessert menu on a website. Let me get to the site. Here we go. And I'm going to kind of show you uh, a couple of the behind the scenes things that make this plugin work. There's uh, two or three components to it. Uh, there is what's known as the menu within the system. There are menu items on the system. That would be each individual plate or, or things like that. There are going to be sections within the menu. And since we're talking about the web, there are going to be pages on the website that hold the menu that we'll be creating. So to kind of get things going, I am going to open up list of the pages that we're working with. We've got a draft page that we're going to be previewing. And I've started, uh, we're going to have three menus ultimately, uh, or initially. One of those is going to be our desserts menu, and, and this particular menu has been started a little bit. It has the title, and they're calling this the afters, the thing that you would eat after dinner, the desserts. Uh, it's got a section that holds the price for each of these, and they're all the same price. So we could have individual prices on a menu item. In this case, it's going to be the same price for everything. And we have two menu items already created within this menu. These do not have images on this particular, uh, on these menu items yet. Someday we may add those later. So this is the start of things. And you can see. Uh, we have a list of them over here as well. This is actually generated from a PDF of the paper menu uh, that we've been working with. And so to start things off, I want to show you how we would add a menu item. In this case, uh, we'll start with this one. And I'm going to come into the system. I'm in the WordPress admin area. There's two sections that get added with this particular plugin. One is menus. Uh, that is the overriding large section that holds uh, a number of menu items. And then there are the individual menu items in a sub section, and there is menu sections. We're going to go into uh, menu items just to show you what that looks like initially. And you can see we have two menu items already, and we're going to add a menu item. We could do it here by pushing this button or in the WordPress menu, pushing the add menu item there as well here we'll hit the add menu item and I'm going to paste in the title of the menu item up at the top got an extra space I'll take that out and then I'm going to pull in the description just doing a copy paste here we'll paste that into this text editor and there's an extra return carriage return there that I do not want and uh, uh, that's the initial step, but there's gonna be a couple things that I'm not going to complete here initially. I wanna show you uh, incrementally what some of these other sections mean. We're not going to add a price on this, and we're not going to include this in specials uh, at this particular time. And uh, we will be eventually adding a menu section. I'll explain that more later. But at the moment, I'm going to publish this as is. Wait for that to go through. And we will refresh the preview of our page here. And nothing should be there. Uh, and in fact, uh, we do, do not see that menu item that we just added. And the reason for that is we did not add it to a menu section. Uh, in this case, uh, we have something called menu sections. You can find them in the WordPress menu over here. I'm going to open them in a new tab so that we can take a look at those. And right now we only have a single section. This will make a little more sense when we have multiple menu sections. Uh, however, as a teaser, I'll point out that this is a different menu. And in this menu we have a couple different sections. We have a starters uh, section, we have a soup and salad section, uh, we've got a, a little section that talks about searing the meat, and then we've got a number of different meat cuts, uh, seafood and more, and uh, etc. So there's a number of different sections that might show up in a menu, and that's why we have sections within this system. So we add the menu items first, and then we can add them to a section. So we have a section called afters, 
And afters also happen to be their own menu. So there's a afters menu, and that afters menu simply has a single section called afters. So we are going to add uh, this menu item that we just created uh, to the menu section called afters. And as I start to type it, uh, you'll notice that it uh, pops up finding the item that we already have. I hit the add button and I hit update. Let that go through. And now when I refresh this page, we will see uh, the new item by default this one happens to show up on top and that's not the order that we're looking for and that's because the order can be uh, changed here I want it to show up third in the list so I'm gonna put three and we'll hit update one more time come through here and refresh our page our view on the web and it moves down to the third position I've got each of these other ones identified with a, a two and a one to make sure that they show up in, in their respective positions as well. I'm gonna repeat this for uh, another menu item. Let me get back to our afters menu. We'll do some creme brulee. Uh, I'm gonna add a menu item again, repeating the step that we'd seen before. Copy and paste this description. Remove that extra item. This time I'm going to do it all at once because we've already seen how it works. I'm going to add the menu section. I'm going to uh, set the menu order. And I'm going to publish that menu item. That makes it live to the web. Uh, we could save it as a draft as well. For further editing. Our page is not live to the web but the menu item is. Slight distinction there. And there you have it. Now we're going to be doing a lot more formatting. This is not our final uh, theme or layout for this particular site. We've got some uh, a lot of work to do there with the Divi theme and uh, I've currently just got a few things set up with placeholders. So this is the initial uh, look at the menu system and we'll be doing more with that very soon.